Unfortunately, math anxiety presents in early grades, often told by well-meaning parents, teachers and friends harboring their own misconceptions about the subject. But in reality, math is truly for everyone. Every student is capable of doing math. Being bad at math is not your destiny. You just may need to tackle your Mathophobia Mathophobia has defined as the panic, helplessness, and mental disorganization that arises among some people when they are required to solve a mathematical problem and a general fear of contact with mathematics. When studying math, it can be easy to get frustrated. Math concepts can be hard to understand at first and often it just takes a little bit of time and effort to get a student to the point of understanding. So, be patient, be positive and everything is going to be alright. Let's see what are the top myths about mathematics. Number 1. The Math Gene The idea that math ability is innate for some people is vastly spread and terribly damaging in the field of mathematics. Many of us have been led to believe that some people are good at math because their brain is wired differently. If you are successful in mathematics, then you are smarter than the rest. If you do not happen to be a math person, you will just have to learn to endure math. Luckily, research has proved this idea completely false, as there is no such math gene that is inherited from parent to child. In fact, everyone can learn math to the highest levels if exposed to the right experiences. But also studies on twins reveal about 50% of our learning ability is in our DNA. This is great news if your parents were able to pass along the good stuff. However, the genetic code can be a complicated thing. The studies go on to point out that the genes responsible for math and reading ability appear to be numerous and interconnected. That means we have what are called generalist genes that are not specifically targeted toward one set of skills. These genes work together to determine a child's aptitude across multiple disciplines. Basically, they show that if a student is good in literacy, then they should also be good in math and in other subjects. You will only ever be as good at math as the amount of practice you put into it. You cannot learn something and completely understand it without practicing it multiple times. Number 2. Boys are better at mathematics than girls. Are boys inherently better at math than girls? Do their brains have a higher aptitude for numbers? Or are boys more positively influenced by subtle psychological factors that boost their confidence in math? Research shows no cognitive biological differences between men and women in math, so the idea of a male math brain is not true. Boys do not pursue mathematical activities at a higher rate than girls because they are better at mathematics. They do so, at least in part, because they think they are better. According to a study in the journal Science of Learning, the research team analyzed the results of a math ability test taken by 97 children aged between 3 and 8 years old, 50 of whom were girls. Both genders performed equally well, irrespective of age. It is in fact true that on average boys score higher than girls in high school math, as the PISA reports show. There are also more men than women in STEM careers, although that tendency has already started changing at college level in some countries. 
Nevertheless, still today, only 28% of all the world's STEM researchers are women. Different reasons can account for this situation. Overall, girls can be negatively influenced by subtle cues from female role models, such as their mothers and elementary teachers, who might have had an unsuccessful experience with mathematics. Another reason is, according to Joe Bowler, that many girls need to know why and how the methods work. In classrooms where memorization is forced, girls have a harder time making sense of mathematics. In fact, we have so many successful female mathematicians. We have published a YouTube video regarding to these fabulous female mathematicians. You can find the link below. Number 3. The Memory and Speed Myth Speed is highly valued in most math classrooms. We incorrectly believe that being fast at math means being good at math. This comes from how we reward students in class and the emphasis on time tests. As kids, we started by memorizing all the sums of one digit plus one digit numbers, to then move on to times tables and geometry formulas. In fact, we did not need to understand the concept of multiplication to be able to multiply or get a good grade in a multiplication test. We just had to memorize procedures and regurgitate accurately. The idea that math is just a game of memorization in order to become fast at it. Students cannot just know concepts without fully understanding the why behind their skills. When they understand why they are doing what they're doing, it can easily be applied to other questions that are similar and build on them to more difficult concepts in the future. In schools and at home we should not value fast work, since it simply shows that it did not require much thinking, as the student was probably already familiar with this kind of problem. It has been suggested that an emphasis on speed may cause math anxiety. Nowadays, we know that students have to manipulate, draw, and play with concepts first. This exposure to concepts will eventually lead to learning facts from memory. Understanding is always the starting point. Number 4, There is only ever one proper way to solve problems. The best way to debunk this is by comparing it to the different learning styles. There are visual learners, note takers, auditory learners, hands-on learners, etc. Math is in fact about creativity and making sense. A given problem can be solved by a variety of different methods, using a number of strategies. Students should learn to decide what strategy best suits the nature of the problem at hand. The way math is done is very individual and personal and the best method is the one which you feel most comfortable. Number 5. I will not need math in the real life. People often underestimate how much we use math in our everyday life. It is a basic skill that everyone needs. Ask yourself to brainstorm how you have used math in the past day. Let you brainstorm by yourselves for a little bit, then try to stimulate your mind with ideas. Recall everything you did for a full 24 hours, including when you were sleeping. Here are some daily tasks for which math is important. Parents can help teens connect math they learn in school and their everyday lives. They could talk to their teen about how you use math in your daily life. Also, Schools have to help students realize that mathematics is a way to understand the world around us and that there is math in everything we do. Number 6. Math isn't supposed to be fun. No, 
actually, it is fundamental. With the right attitude and friends and teachers, doing math can be most entertaining and delightful. Playing Super Mario is challenging when you hit a new obstacle, but relaxing when you're in the flow of a level you've mastered already. Reading a book can be pure entertainment, but other times it can force you to think hard and question your beliefs. In the same way, finding a math problem you can't solve is a new challenge to overcome, while finding one you can solve can be relaxing. Not only doing math is fun, it also gives you a sense of achievement after solving an equation or simply understanding a concept.